Hello everybody. Uh, in this lesson, we continue uh, with uh, widgets, state widgets, and the build function. Uh, so in this lesson, we continue with the previous lesson and remove some unnecessary code line, remove unnecessary and left blank. We only uh, have the main function and the run up function. We remove uh, car and configuration. Not necessary. We can delete. Delete anyway. Yes, not important. Uh, so the first time we have the center. The center is a widget, and a screen can contain many widgets. Yes, the widget is a basic element of a screen, and. Uh, your 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 page or your screen is also one widget, and one widget can contain many widgets inside. Yes, so the center widget has a chain of text, and the text here is also a widget. The text here has a property of chai, uh the property of style and text duration. Yes, so center is a widget. And every widget inside the center is aligned to center X and center Y, or center vertically and center uh, horizontally, or it is in the center of your screen. So now I, I can define a class. So each widget is defined by defining a class. Uh, I call this my app and this class inherit or extend from stateless widgets. Uh, what about the state or stateless? Stateless means that uh, it is a property that binding to the use interface. When the when the state changes, the use interface is changed. Okay, so it is a Content of state, state. So state is a, uh, an internal properties, and when the internal property change, the use interface is also changed. And what about uh, another way to remember the state is that the state is internal and private for. Uh, a specific widgets. Yes. You you have to build to 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 uh, override the build function, and the, the build function is an abstract method uh, from parent class stateless widgets, and the build function is run when the state change, and it is called the first time uh, the widgets reload. The first time reload, the build is called, and when the state changes, the build is also called. Okay. So after running the program again to see, okay. So I can see the center text. Hello, this is my app. So here is my app, which is is my custom, which is my defined, which is. I can define my widgets. So how to find, how to send an argument, send object or parameters to the with these widgets. So let's define a constructor here. A constructor means a function uh, which initializes an object from the class. So we define two property with a, a constructor. This is a, uh, so the, the name, the, the constructor with name arguments and uh, the constructor here has two property name and age and I transmit the parameters to this using uh, my app open uh, function name and age name is 1, it is 18 yes. And uh, I can display to this using uh, this dot name and this dot age. 
yes yeah, this dot name and this dot head okay uh, so two property here name and age uh, with this and without this it is the same it is the same yes so uh, now we continue with uh, we copy this element of this widgets and uh, I use a material app which is the material app which is support a screen with material design and uh, it has a first property of title a second property home so the home here okay so yeah but the background is black and how to change the background of your screen how to change uh, to change the background you can uh, wrap it into into a scaffold yeah a scaffold is also the widgets uh, that support material design and it is all the way inside the material app and it is the body of the material app then you paste your code inside the the body uh, so, so the center is the body of scaffold so we have the background of white yes white color uh, you can change more and so in some next lesson change background is not as simple as some other mobile framework uh, so you can change the color of the text by changing text style you change the text style you change uh, the font size the font size okay so you can add change okay thank you very much for watching this lesson bye bye and see you next time